has become a compulsion for the farmers to burn crop residue or stubble. Farmers say that it is of no use, that is why these residues have to be burnt. They say that by burning it, the field is cleaned and preparations can be made for sowing a new crop. As well as by burning crop residues, germs and diseases are managed. But burning it causes air pollution, due to which many types of problems arise. People have difficulty in breathing. The government has become serious about this, that is why the government has revised the crop residue management guidelines, enabling efficient ex situ management of paddy straw generated in the states of Punjab, Haryana, UP and Delhi. As per the revised guidelines, techno-commercial pilot projects for paddy straw supply chain will be established under the bilateral agreement between the beneficiary, aggregator, farmers ruler, entrepreneurs, cooperative societies of farmers, farmers producer organizations, FPOs, and panchayats and industries utilizing the paddy straw. Government shall provide financial assistance on the capital cost of machinery and equipment. The required working capital may be financed either by the industry and beneficiary jointly or utilizing the Agriculture Infrastructure Fund AIF. Nabad Financial or financing from the financial institutions by the beneficiary. The land for storage of the collected paddy straw will be arranged and prepared by the beneficiary as may be guided by the end-use industry. Project proposal-based financial assistance will be extended for machines and equipments such as higher HP tractor, cutters, tedder, medium to large bellers, rakers, roaders, grabbers and telehandlers which are essentially required for establishment of paddy straw supply chain. State government shall approve these projects through project sanctioning committee. Government jointly by central and state governments will provide financial support of at the rate of 65% of the project cost. Industry as primary promoter of the project will contribute 25% and will act as the primary consumer of the feedstock collected. And farmer or group of farmers or ruler entrepreneurs or cooperative societies of farmers or farmers producer organizations FPOs or panchayats will be the direct beneficiary of the project and will contribute the balance 10%. The outcomes of the above interventions are the initiative will supplement the efforts of paddy straw management through NC2 options. During the three-year tenure of the interventions 1.5 million metric tons of surplus Paddy straw are expected to be collected which would otherwise have been burned in fields. About 333 biomass collection depots of capacity 4500 metric ton will be built in the affected states. Air pollution caused by stubble burning will be considerably reduced. It would generate employment opportunities of about 9 lakh man days. The interventions will encourage a robust supply chain management of paddy straw which shall further help in making paddy straw available for various end uses. That is power generation, heat generation, biopower CNG, bioethanol producers. Establishment of supply chain would result in new investments in biomass to biofuel and energy sectors. For more details click on our website that is www.archkevas.in